So now we're going to talk to about Ben Shelton, who won Houston. Prior to Houston, <laughs> he was 2-7 and seven on clay, by the way. Yeah. Before winning Houston. Yeah. Uh, Fritz got spanked mm. by Musetti at Monte Carlo. Mm. Is Ben Shelton the leading American to make it the farthest at the French Open? Look, congrats to Ben Shelton. I think it was a great win. I think that he beat Tiafo there in the final. He did. I think he. I think what he did is an incredible accomplishment. I believe it's his second title in his career. This is not a real clay. This is the asterisk clay tournament. This is not real clay. And don't get me wrong, it's a real clay tournament. It's a clay tournament with only Americans in it. Yeah, nobody showed up. They all showed up to Monte Carlo. Yeah, so you haven't proven anything. <laughs> you know, like you are not a clay specialist. This was the let's throw all the non clay specialists on clay for two hundred and fifty points. That's what this event was. And don't get me wrong, it's still all professional, high level tennis players. They are. So, good job. You're the best of the rest on clay. That's what he is. I still don't see him beating the random specialists like the Zavallos and, you know, yes. some of these guys, the Bautista Guts and the Grinders and the guys who actually specialize there and are ranked 60 in the world. I don't see him as a favorite against them yet. So, congrats to him. He did a great job. This is not a sign of the times and growth. In that case, do you see Fritz losing in Monte Carlo? To Musetti, do you think no? That's Musetti better? is a way more difficult accomplishment to me on clay than Tiafo on clay. So, so Fritz would be the leading American to make it far at the French Open. Then mm, I don't even know who the I. I need to go through my list of Americans because I would even go as far as maybe talking about like a Corda or someone. Corda did lose to. Uh, um, no, not center. Uh, who did he lose to? Man, I forgot. But no, he did lose to center. Yeah. Yes, but I guess that's a, a that's a good loss. That's a great loss. Um, that's I the think number it was one, one and two. That's the number one guy today, right, in the world. So, right. um, for me, I think that winning when Andy Roddick's got like five of these, and he's a terrible clay court player. And he <laughs> he's won it like five times. So let's be honest here. This is not a sign of, oh, this is the leading clay American. I'm sorry. I just can't roll with it. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. This is putting any, investing any chips in the results you see at that tournament to me is nonsense. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll still go with Shelton, uh, uh, Corda. He is good too as well, but mm. I don't know about him. He's, he's, up and down. He's too up and down right now. Yeah. So uh, I'll stick with Shelton. Okay. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> we're going to move on to the next one, which is Stefanos. Hmm. He 